Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a special job with a special laptop. So what do you think about this laptop? It's a HP i5, this is a proper nice laptop, yeah? So check that, we have the charging plugged in, it's taking 1.8 amps, we have the charging light, right? Okay, let's press the power button. Pressing the power button, and the power button is flashing. You can see, that's all what he's doing on the laptop, looks like he's looping. Coming, going, goes off, you can see. So I'm assuming 1.8 is the charging current, then it's just looping and not starting. Now, why this job is a special job? Now, this job is a special job because usually I don't have, like, a customer to send me the laptop and say, sorry, that's all you have to do, and that's how you fix it. Quite rare. <laughs> Let's open this laptop quickly. I'm just curious to see if the customer was right. So what the customer is saying, if you hold press the RAM socket, the laptop it will start and it will work fine. Mm -hmm. That's what the customer is saying. Let's check. So we open the laptop. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, okay. You remember this board? I mean, I have, I think, like two videos with this motherboard. So this laptop, this has a specific issue with the RAM socket. So check here, here. Here is hot glue. I swear, here is hot glue. Check here. Huh? This is hot glue. Oh... So the customer stuck the, the RAM uh, with a hot glue. <laughs> People are learning. <laughs> yeah, that, could, that can make sense. Yeah, let's try to keep press the, the socket and power on the laptop, yeah? Let's try to do it. So holding the RAM memory down, pressing the power button, and the laptop is coming on. Releasing the RAM memory is still working. That's interesting. Yeah, that's all. And now we have some, uh, you know, graphic lines. Yeah, yeah. So this uh, this motherboard, but exactly, you know, this motherboard. I have like two videos. Two videos. We we made two videos only with this uh, specific motherboard. And indeed, and I can tell you the pin, yeah? So I can I, I can bet, you know, the pin probably is this one from here. Let's check together. I'm just curious. So check here, check here this pin. It's always this pin, always this pin, like always. And the other pins are all fine. Yeah, it's not even point checking. This one. So every time I found this pin to be the solder from uh, from the motherboard. Pretty interesting fold. I mean, this is not something like, okay, it happens on this laptop. This is a manufactured fold. Those laptops has to be recalled. But probably they will not do it. Probably not. Probably they won't do it. Okay, let's try to fix it. What do we need to fix in order to fix this fold? We need some rosin. Rosin is good. Yeah, Rosin flux. And all we have to do is a solder here. That's all. We have to be sure, you know, like it's proper solder because otherwise we can have a surprise and the laptop it will die in a few months. Yeah, that's a proper solder. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's clean it and check the other pins just to be sure uh, that's all what it is. So the pin is soldered properly in place. Let's see the other pins. Good. Good. I mean, you can see, you can see are all soldered properly. What about this one? No, it's older. No, that's 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 all. Let's see on the back of the of the RAM memory. Yeah, 
No, everything is fine. No, all pins are good. All pins are good. It's only one pin which has to be sold. One pin. And I can bet now if we are uh, plugging the RAM memory, the laptop it will work fine. RAM memory. Power on. And we have picture. Uh, one pin, one pin, that's all what you have to solder on this, uh, on this laptop. Let's move the, the RAM memory up and down. Let's wait for the laptop to start. Moving the RAM memory up and down, solid. If it's not solid, the mouse will be frozen. Let's see. No, the mouse is fine, you can see it. So all good all good now if you have this laptop i mean do yourself a favor and try to you know like preventive solder solder that uh, that pin just to be sure it will not happen to you also i mean from my point of view yeah because this is a common fault and clearly it's a manufacturer designer or those laptops has to be recalled by the hp i mean on some point, this this specific model it will die because of that uh, ramping. Probably they won't do it, but they should do it. They should do it. They should recall every laptop and uh, uh, do something about that pin. I don't know. Probably the board is flexing or. Uh, Probably when you type the keyboard, the slot is... Yeah, check here. You can see the, the, the motherboard is bending when I'm pressing the keys on the keyboard. You can see? Yeah, probably that's the reason. The motherboard is flexing when you press the keys on the keyboard. It's just a bad design. Now, if you have this laptop, uh, I'm gonna take the measurements from the coils just to know, you know, if you have this laptop That's what kind of resistance you should have on the coils Good, so You have the CPU which has 3.6 18.5 on this coil Here you have 64 ohms probably those are 3 volts and 5.5 and 5 volts 3.3 and 5 volts uh, coils here is the ram uh, coil which has 97 ohms but depends on the ram memory here you have 5.3 ohms on this coil this one is the charging coil and that's all right yeah that's all okay so i'm gonna stop now i will say uh Thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.